I'm sure this also happened to you. You're seen as many objects, lots of polygons, all identicals but just copies. And haven't you ever argued with a colleague who always makes copies, creating huge files? How to solve this problem and turn these copies into instances? Let's see this script. Ok, in 3ds Max we can turn instances into copies with the make unique function, but we don't have the reverse function from a copy to instance. That's why we are going to explore the make it instance script, I'll leave the link in the description. We install it via scripting, run script, and we create a button as we saw in the previous video. Now, let's look at a basic example to understand how it works. We create a simple box, then copy it in multiple times without distance it, ending up with a situation similar to the bushes. Now we create a sphere, which will be the source mesh used with the script. Select all the boxes that need to be replaced with the sphere and click on Make it Instance tool and then on Pick Source Object. We select the sphere and finally click on Replace Selected Objects to complete the replacement. In a few seconds the boxes will be replaced with the instances of the sphere. It's important to know that replacement respects both both the source mesh and the objects being replaced. Basically, if the pivot of the source object is centered and the pivots of the objects to be replaced are also centered, the instance will be positioned exactly in the right place. However, if the pivot of the distanced object, the sphere, is for example at the base, the new instances will appear raised compared to the original position because the tool maintains pivot alignment. Now, let's see a practical example with the bushes and think that just 10 copies of bushes give us around 5 million polygons and a max file of almost 1 GB, but if instances, the same file is less than 80 MB, so let's solve this big problem. These two bushes have different rotation and positions compared to the source mesh, which we can highlight by selecting the objects in local mode. Let's begin. I select the two plants that are not instanced. I click on Make it Instance tool. Then click on Pick Source Object and select the plant I want to instance. Finally, I click on Replace Selected Objects, completing the replacement. If we check the modifier now, it appears in bold, meaning that the object is now an instance. We can also double check it, observing that the option Make Unique is finally available. You might remember that a few videos ago we saw how to rig a car with spinning wheels. Well, subscribe to my channel because in the next video I'll show you how to create another rig to help us placing lights in the scene.